Oh my god, we're back again. <laughs> I can never just start something normally. Why Why am I like this? I'm, I'm not changing it, I'm keeping it. Anyway, we're, uh, <laughs> we're back with my highly uninformative series in which I paint other humans. This time it's Emma Blackery. I, I nearly I nearly stuttered and said blah 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 but fine, it's fine, we're keeping that in too. Anyway, uh, as always, rough lines to make sure I know who I am and what I'm doing and what year it is. It's only one of those things is actually true. Then onto the eyeballs, because if you don't start a portrait by starting with the eyes and working outwards, you are actually Satan incarnate. Maybe. Possibly. That, that might be a bit harsh. On to uh, more face development. Everyone always looks like a melted waxwork at this point, and it's good nightmare material. Doesn't matter who you are painting, just, just, I, I just close my eyes and paint until the horrors have stopped. Every time. Just, it's just always a nightmare. Anyway, one face base, pretty much have the basic face. I, I got thrown off by one face base, I can't go from one face base to the basic face. <laughs> Why can't I even sentence? Let's try that again. One face base, pretty much have the basic face all laid out and put together in a manner that is decent enough to get started fleshing everything else out. In this case, that means I got distracted, as usual, and decided she needed middle of tele bom 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 In this case, that means I got distracted and decided she needed a military camo jacket. Just because I thought it was a good idea! And it was. It was a very good idea. <laughs> because that led on to a soft post-apocalyptic vibe. Which actually really suited the overall picture, luckily enough. Good for me. I, I never plan these out. <laughs> I just never plan them out. I just get my references for the person I want to paint and then the background and themes happen naturally somehow. It's, it's, it's just an adventure and it's fine like that. I don't I don't need to plan anything. It just it happens. It's good. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but it does. It's fine. Uh, where are we? As you can see here, I started making some rough notes of myself in red and I'm pretty sure I probably ignored them because that's what I do. I think I kept the jacket tears. Yep. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. And we somehow gained spirit creatures and ghostly devil horns, Woo -hoo. and an ominous glowing door because we all love being spooked. This is uh, pretty much finished for the base, and I just finished everything up by upping the contrast, painting in some extra textures and shadows to frame the parts I wanted framing, because I like directing your eyeballs to where I want them to be. You're not allowed to look at anything else, no. And uh, then use the open door in the background to add some sexy backlighting, because I am a slut for s Sexy lighting. <laughs> and voila! One finished Emma Blackery with some happy spooky friends. And I think this is one of my favourites overall given it's uh, it's got more character than my others. And it's got a shitload of my influences in there. Some Studio Ghibli with your little soot sprite kind of creatures. Ico with the horns and then Dark Souls with the spooky, real spooky glowing eyes and I got the whole fading of shadows from them. So yeah, that was fun. Don't know why it's so spooky. It just, just happened. But yeah, boom, done. Another video that tells you absolutely nothing. I hope you enjoyed not learning anything, because that's that's all these are ever going to be. You're not going to learn anything. Yeah, we're done. Goodbye. <laughs>